Fresno State coach Jeff Tedford locked up his first recruiting class Wednesday, adding 18 players on National Signing Day to go with the five JC signees who came aboard in December. We feel like it was really successful. Um, we're really happy with the quality of our class. And though Tedford's staff only had since December to recruit players, recruiting services and websites rated the Bulldogs class pretty solid. Rivals.com and Scout.com respectively ranked the Bulldogs third and fourth in the Mountain West. And nationally, Fresno State's class ranked in the low 70s. With time constraints of doing this in the last month and a half or so, uh, I thought our staff did a tremendous job. In comparison, flashback to 2012 when former coach Tim DeRuder introduced his first signing class that wasn't fondly thought of, rating fifth out of eight Mountain West teams then and near the bottom nationally. Four years later, when most of those recruits would have been seniors, that poor recruiting class rating translated into a 1-11 season this past year. Tedford, brought in to rebuild the Bulldogs, made a conscious effort to recruit the Valley as one of his first goals to getting the Bulldogs back on track. I think it's pretty simple with guys that are here because they understand and they've grown up with um, with watching Fresno State and understanding the traditions at Fresno State and, and wanting to play close to home. Tedford and his staff even turned to area coaches to point them in the right direction who to recruit. Fresno State ended up with five players from the Central San Joaquin Valley. I want to say thank you to all the coaches throughout the Valley who, because we are we had a short amount of time to get this done, there was a lot of coaches that we've had relationships in the past that we relied on and that reached out to us. The headliner of this recruiting class? That appeared to be running back Ronnie Rivers, the son of former Fresno State star Ron Rivers, who once held the career rushing record. And his lateral movement, the way he makes people miss, uh, he's got a lot of ability. And um, and he was another one who, who appreciates Fresno State and the legacy here and even the number he's going to wear. He's going to wear his dad's number. The Bulldogs also signed three players from Canada, including a six foot five, three hundred sixty-five pound lineman, Mark David Bien Ame, and six foot seven, three hundred and five pound Dante Bull. We want to stay open to Canada, but we're not going to spend a lot of resources running up through Canada. There may be some people because we know and we have some relationships. Both these guys just need to make the transition into the American game, uh, but great physical skills. Combine Fresno State's five offensive line recruits average six foot five, 317 pounds. Will this recruiting class become the nucleus that brings the Bulldogs back to prominence? Time will tell. But on paper, it's looking good in February.